Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome to Motivational Monday. Um, and if you can't watch this right now, that's okay. You can just hit share and it will go right to your wall so you can watch it later. So that is not a big deal at all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining me here today. And we will be talking about collagen and bone broth and the many benefits and different types of collagen that people have lots of questions about. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that real soon here. Um, and just so you know, Warrior Strong Wellness provides innovative and high quality transformational supplements. Um, and I am Mary Ricciardi. I'm the founder of of Warrior Strong Wellness, and it's my pleasure to have you here on this video. Um, I look forward to helping you um, with my passion, which is basically just helping you to live your very best Warrior Strong life. At, at Warrior Strong Wellness, um, did you know that by purchasing any of our products, you help us to raise awareness and funds to fight childhood cancer? A portion of our proceeds is donated to Childhood Cancer Research, and it's an amazing organization um, that we give to, which is called St. Baldrick's Foundation. And you can learn more about them by just visiting stbaldricks.org. So um, just so thankful that you guys are here with me today. And um, hopefully you're having a really good morning. Uh, maybe we'll have a few people jump on here shortly when we talk about collagen, bone broth, and um, just a lot of questions that people have that about we have since we have two now we have a collagen bone broth and also a multi-collagen i've had a lot of people ask questions so i thought well i'll just jump on and do a quick live and um, hopefully let you guys know a little bit more about that so first off let's go ahead and begin and start talking about collagen so what is collagen? Collagen is a protein present in the body's organs and tissues. And collagen's main function is to sustain your tendons and your skin and your cartilage. And it just provides integrity and firmness and elasticity to everything about your body. So it's very important to your body. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. And it's, it is the substance that holds your whole body together. It's found in the bones and the muscles and the skin and the tendons and collagen is essential for the health and appearance of your skin. And this protein is necessary to reduce the typical signs of aging. Collagen is um, basically the most important building block of elasticity in your body. So if you, as you notice, as you're getting older, those things start to happen and you get the lines and the wrinkles and that is uh that's just a part of life but the collagen levels start to reduce as you get older so we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little while but um so the amino acids that is basically the essential amino acids that are a part of collagen and what exactly when you have if you've already purchased our product you'll see that there's a lot of amino acids on there um, and they're just the building blocks of all the proteins so including the the collagen so um the amino acids are the essential amino acids, which what is an essential amino acid? It's basically just something that your body cannot make. So you have to get it from food or dietary supplements. And it happens to be the most abundant protein present in the body. And this long chain amino acid is composed of those four individual amino acids, which is um, present in both the collagens that we offer, which is proline, glycine, arginine, and hydroxyproline. So those are all really big words, but they're super important. Um, and we have a lot of the, the milligrams in there in our um, collagens. And the most important thing really that you wanna be aware of is that when you take collagen, you want it to be able to be absorbed into your body. If it's not absorbed into your body properly, it really won't work. So that's that's one of the reasons why um, it's best, I feel, to take a collagen that is in a powder form. And the reason being is because um, it is hydrolyzed. So when it's hydrolyzed, um, collagen is 
is basically absorbed into your system much, much easier. It's derived from scales of fish, bones, cartilages. Um, it also has usually chicken and bovine or cow. And the collagen molecules are in your body. They get into your body a lot easier because of the, you know, the absorption level. So collagen in its native state is too large for our bodies to absorb when it's ingested. So we won't be able to replenish our own lost collagen by simply eating, you know, like meats and fish or things like that. So this is where the collagen supplement comes in. And the good news is, is that researchers have invented a process to break down that collagen molecule using a high pressure steam process called hydrolysis. And that the result is that the hydrolyzed collagen, which basically what I was just talking about, it means that it cuts it into like tiny pieces. And those pieces are now small enough for your, um, for you to digest them. So your digestive enzymes completely break them down, which in turn enables the collagen to be able to be absorbed into your bloodstream at a higher rate, which is fantastic because we want that collagen to be absorbed into our body. Why would we want it to just, you know, be taken and, and then not if like, if you took a, like a pill and you didn't have enough, then it's just going to be just completely um, urinated out. So that's not what we want, you know? So that's the most important thing when you're thinking about collagen or taking collagen. Excuse me, I'm just getting a little bit of water. So another reason too is um, to be able to absorb your, your um, collagen is, is that you wanna make sure that you're eating enough vitamin C rich foods. So what does the vitamin C do? Well, basically to better absorb your collagen supplement, it will help you to absorb it. So you wanna eat enough, um, any kind of vitamin C rich foods, which you know, you might want to also take a supplement. Um, I recommend taking like 200 to 500 milligrams a day, but you don't really want to take, you know, too much of it because basically your, your body will just end up releasing it in the urine anyways. So two or 500 milligrams is plenty. You really don't need more than that. But one of the best ways to get vitamin C into your body is to be, just eat the foods that contain it. And, um, and when you eat it alongside your collagen, it's just going to make your collagen absorb into your body even, even quicker. So I like to um, make a smoothie in the morning, as many of you know. So basically I add um, those rich vitamin C foods in my morning smoothie every day. I put um, blueberries and bananas and spinach, which all are high in vitamin C. And um, for my ultimate absorption, I just, I love to, to be able to feel the, the, you know, you have that morning smoothie for me, like it just keeps me full. And I like to be able to feel that energy. I also have a little bit of collagen in my coffee, which gives me tons of energy as well. So and if you don't want to have a smoothie and you just like to use the collagen in your coffee, that's fine. But you can try to like add more of those vitamin C rich foods throughout your day or at lunch and dinner and things like that. Um, some very high um, vitamin C rich foods are things like broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, um, cauliflower, green and red peppers. Red um, red peppers are my favorite. Green kind of give me a little bit of heartburn, so I kind of stick with the red. Um, tomatoes are wonderful. Sweet and white potatoes have a lot of vitamin C. Citrus fruits and strawberries are also awesome. Vitamin C rich foods that you can add. And the, you know, the awesome bonus about those all is that they have a really high amount of fiber. And most of us, um, struggle to get enough fiber. Most women need to have about 35% of fiber in their daily diet, but most people usually get maybe 10%. So you really want to up that fiber and veggies is a really good way to do that, as well as their excellent complex carbs. They give you energy and, you know, they give you fiber and the vitamin C that I was talking about to help you absorb that awesome collagen into your system. So that's why I'm such a fan of drinking a macronutrient rich um, superfood smoothie for breakfast to start my day off strong because, you know, once I get that in there, I, I've already began a really good 
breakfast for myself. And I always have struggled with eating like in the morning sometimes. So that's why I began doing that smoothie many years ago, many years ago. So, um, and the, just adding the collagen, collagen is just even one more amazing thing to do for my body. And so, you know, the one of the things that I think the most, probably a lot of people like to take collagen for is the skin. Um, so skin to me is, is the bonus of it. There's so many more benefits and we'll kind of go over those benefits in a little while, but the skin part of it is, is because it's just apparent that as we get older, our decline of collagen starts to happen. And so when we are born, we're born with this abundant supply of collagen as a baby, right? We, I mean, we have, so much cute little plump skin when we're little if you see a baby right now you know they are so rosy cheeked and and they're just so cute right they have all that collagen they have their their skin is so supple but you know unfortunately our body stops producing that collagen in our mid to late 20s which totally stinks. But at around age 30, our collagen production begins a long, long decline. And so about around that time, you'll start to notice that you're getting those first fine lines and the wrinkles and things like that, which is totally normal. And it's a big, it's not a real big deal because we all get older, but it's always nice to be able to feel a little more youthful. And so, you know, that's where the collagen comes in. So. Um, after age 30, our collagen levels drop about 1% to 2% every year. And by age 40, we have lost about 10 to 20% um, of collagen. And by age 50, we are down 20 to 40%. So that is uh, really a bummer. And after age 60, well, I mean, basically you get the picture. It's just, it's really tough to keep that collagen in our system. So. And that declining of collagen can just, you know, really be a bummer. It makes you feel older and things like that. It makes your skin and your joints and everything start to hurt. So that's why it's so important to supplement with a collagen, um, you know, powder in your coffee or in your morning smoothie. And so another thing that will decline your collagen are some of those lifestyle factors. So let's go over, you know, some of those things. Um, some of the lifestyle factors that decrease collagen that really, really can just decrease it is eating a really high sugar diet. So be careful of eating too much sugar all the time. And another thing that really can affect your collagen levels is excessive collagen, um, I'm sorry, alcohol intake and smoking. So try to stay away from smoking, try to stay away from excessive alcohol intake. Um, a little alcohol now and then is okay but the excessiveness is where the collagen will really be depleted. And another really huge one is of course, sun exposure. So you wanna make sure that you're wearing that sunscreen every day, even in the winter time. And so that's super important. Um, and also eating those healthy foods that I mentioned, because the good thing about them is they have those antioxidants, right? So if you're eating your greens like spinach and blueberries in your morning shake, they contain antioxidants and they contain um, and protect and the existing collagen in your body by fighting off the free radicals <clears throat> and frozen and you know frozen berries are fine too it's just that you just want to make sure that you're having those antioxidants daily with the spinach the fresh spinach i like fresh spinach a little bit better than frozen spinach personally in my shake but if that's all you have that's fine but berries and I always buy frozen berries like the organic berries are completely fine. They may make your shake just a little bit thicker. Just keep that in mind, but um, they just have tons of antioxidants. You just want to make sure that you do buy the berries that if you're buying the frozen ones that they just have the berries only. You don't want to buy, um, you know, like berries that have sugar in them or added syrups or anything like that. And they're usually way more reasonable too. So that's why I usually buy my organic blueberries, um, you know, frozen instead of fresh. So, you know, that's really important to make sure that you have them too, because if you're buying fresh, you have to go to the store like every couple of days to keep those fresh berries from getting spoiled. So that's another reason why I like to buy frozen because they're just there and I'm ready for them. And then I don't even really need to add, um, you know, that much ice into my smoothie either. So 
super important to have all your stuff ready for yourself so that you you can make a smoothie because if you don't have anything to make it with then you know then you're kind of like oh i wish i had more um so the thing is is a lot of people have a lot of questions about um you know our warrior strong wellness superfood supplements so i want to go over that a little bit first of all these are our two this was our first whoops can you see it collagen peptides and bone broth it's hard for me to see if you guys can see that um this is our collagen peptides and bone broth and then we have our multi-collagen so yeah it's everything's backwards. <laughs> so anyways, I, um, I just wanted to share those, what those look like. So let's talk a little bit about what's the difference between the two. So, um, the collagen peptides and bone broth is, um, basically it's just bone broth and, and bone broth collagen or bone broth and beef bone broth and also beef collagen. That's it. That's what's in this one. And so when you see when you see the word bovine, that's basically beef. Um, and the bone broth collagen has beef collagen and also bovine, which is bovine and beef. And we make it out of the bovine hide and then the bovine bones cartilage, and um, which is in the bone broth portion. So basically it's, you know, that's what it's made out of is the hide and then the bones and the cartilage and all of that stuff. So this is um, all bovine, all beef and Personally, I love this one for my digestive health. Would never stop taking it because I personally have a lot of digestive issues with, you know, going to the bathroom every day has now become a regular thing for me, which I did struggle with that a lot. I've never ever been able to do that easily. So that is something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, maybe some leaky gut, things like that. That that this product is amazing for that. It's it's um it's the one I would stick with when it comes to, um, you know, the, the, um, the digestive health, because digestive health is something that you don't really think you have until you realize that, you know, you're really struggling with that. Like you haven't gone to the bathroom for days, things like that. Those are not normal symptoms. And especially if you have like gluten intolerance, um, any kind of digestive issues that sometimes can happen. So I would be really, really, if somebody asked me, which one would I take if I have super pro big problems with digestive issues, definitely start with that one. Um, excuse me. Okay. Multi-collagen. Okay. Multi-collagen is our newest product. It's awesome. And it has four sources of collagen in it. It's got the one, two, three, five, and 10 types in it. And it's even more intense and gives you a ton of energy. It has pasture-raised, grass-fed bovine collagen, but it has no bovine beef collagen. So it just has the bovine collagen. It does not, I'm sorry, it does not have the beef bone broth. <laughs> it has the collagen, not the bone broth. It has uh, free-range chicken bone broth in it, however, and it has the wild-caught fish um, collagen and is also the um, eggshell membrane collagen and it's really important to take both kinds because then you'll get the bovine beef bone broth as well as the chicken bone broth as well so and all as well of all the other collagens in it but however I mean we totally understand that some cannot take both at the same time and that's that's okay so if you wanted to you can you can do one one month one the ne and then do the other one the next month just so you're getting a little bit of both collagens or you can buy both and then use one scoop of one collagen one day and then you know the other one the next day so you're constantly kind of getting it into your system that's that's what i would suggest um or if it's possible for you to take a scoop of each a day that's what i do i I would recommend that if you, if it's possible for you um, so that you're getting both kinds of bone broth and all the other collagens every day. Um, and then sometimes it depends on my activity level. I actually add another scoop as well. So especially if you're working out a lot, um, the multi collagen is going to help with that, you know, person that's working out a lot, a lot more too, because it does have that 
um, what, you know, the, the more collagen sources in there, as well as it helps a lot with your skin because it has the fish in there. So um, the multi-collagen is probably better for people that are avid athletes. Um, that's what I would probably recommend if they were to having to choose one or the other. But like I said, I like to take one of each scoop a day, but I know that's not um, available to everyone. So, and the differences between the two, as far as, you know, servings and whatnot are also different. The multi-collagen, this one has um, a smaller scoop because it's more intense. So it has a 10.2 gram scoop and it has 45 servings and nine grams of protein. And the collagen bone broth has 30 servings and 15 grams scoop and 14 grams of protein. So that one, and um, both are unflavored and have no sugar or carbs. So don't worry about that. And they are both paleo, keto, whole 30, um, 131 method, friendly, all of those kind of programs that people are on. And, you know, they go well with any low carb type of nutritional plan. So if you're eating those, these will go fine. And um, they're both gluten free and dairy free, soy free and non GMO. So don't worry about any of those kind of things. And if you have any questions, feel free to answer or to write in the comments below, even if you're watching this in the replay and I'll be answering those as I go about um, my day today. And, um, you know, and so also I'd like to just kind of touch upon the types of collagen and I'm kind of getting all nerdy here right now, but sometimes people really have questions about that and they don't understand. So there's difference between the source and the types. So, the type of collagen, type one, is sourced from beef, bovine beef, fish, and eggshell. And type two is sourced from different cartilages and chicken. Um, type three is in the, the bovine beef. And type five and ten is the eggshell membranes. So those are their sources. And so then there's the types, right? So type one, two, three, five, uh, five and ten. Type one is the most abundant and it, it forms the scar tissues and the tendons and the ligaments and bones and skin and arteries and teeth. And it helps with the skin and the tendons and the ligaments and the immune system. It helps with the gut health. Type two is um, joints and cartilage and it helps with things like knee uh, or elbow pain, things like that. Type three is the mesh around the liver, the bone marrow and the lymph nodes. And it also helps with um, tendons and ligaments and muscles. Type five is it helps the hair and, the, and all cell surfaces. And it helps the other collagens to just basically work better together. And type 10 helps with bones and cartilages and healing after an injury, like I mentioned. So basically it helps a lot for those avid runners, um, any time, type of elite athlete, anybody that has a lot of wear and tear or they're maybe struggling with an injury right now, type 10 collagen will help you a lot. And that's something that I would you know, recommend for sure especially if you uh, have a tendency to, you know, just when you work out, be really sore afterwards because maybe you're working out way um, high level. So just be really, really um, careful of, of checking which collagen has what, because a lot of the collagens nowadays don't have that many collagens in them. And so if you're an avid um, runner or something like that, you want to make sure you're taking the right one for your body. So let's talk a little bit now about the benefits of collagen and the bone broth benefits. Um, one of my favorite things, like we mentioned, is it improves the health and the, and the health of your skin and your hair. And that means like elasticity and also maybe some cellulite help if we can handle it, you know, like would be really nice if we can get a little help with that. But everybody gets cellulite, so it's not something that's going to take it away, but it will help a little bit. And the, and the wonderful thing that it, it does is it reduces joint pains and degeneration. So, you know, if, if you're working out all the time and you are, as you get older, your skin 
as your skin gets older, so does your body and your joints and they wear and tear on them. So you really um, will notice the difference that, you know, you can work out and you won't have to be so sore for like two days. It really helps with your recovery. Um, it helps with your digestive system, your health, uh, the healing of your leaky gut, if you have that, promoting a healthy, it, um, it promotes a healthy digestive system. So if you, like I said, if like you're like me and you were having trouble with having regular bowel movements, it's going to help that immediately. So that is something that you'll notice right away. And it's amazing and it makes you feel great. You should not be feeling bloated. You should not be feeling constipated. That's not normal. So this will help a ton with that. And, um, you know, I know a lot of women especially struggle with that. And I know that I've struggled with that and it's not any fun. So I'm so grateful for the collagen bone broth. <clears throat> it also helps boost your metabolism, which we all love that. And it helps with your muscle mass and your energy output. Um, I have so much energy from this new multi-collagen. My husband's always like, tone it down, Mary. You know, so basically it's going to help you get some a lot of extra energy. That's something that people, most people notice right away. It'll strengthen your nails and your hair and your teeth. Um, it improves your liver health. It protects your cardiovascular and your immune health. So, you know, you'll have a tendency to not get sick. Like even if your whole family is getting sick and you're the only one on the collagen and bone broth, you're going to notice such a difference. You'll be like, wow, I'm not even sick. And they just all were sick and I to totally escaped from that. So that's, those are all some of the wonderful benefits of the bone broth and the collagen. And, um, you know, they're just, there's, there's so many wonderful things but i think my favorite thing is that i love 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 that it helps with my recovery after my workouts so i don't feel like an old lady anymore <laughs> i can actually you know recover a lot faster and um and even better if you have like joint pains arthritis things like that and sometimes you just stop working out altogether so if you, um, you know, that's why it's just so important to add that collagen in bone broth to your diet, because then, you know, we can maintain that healthy, active lifestyle, even as we get older. So it's so important because exercise is everything to me. I mean, it really helps my mental ability. So I'm so thankful that um, I can exercise at a pretty, you know, good rate now and, and stay active and not feel so sore afterwards. So a lot of people will ask me too, like, how quickly will I notice a difference as soon as I start to take my collagen and my bone broth or, um, you know, things like that. So, um, the answer to that is, is different for everyone really, but most of the people notice a huge difference right away. Um, when it comes to the energy that you get and, um, it just really depends too about your nutritional intake that you had to that you had before you even started. So if you're somebody who has not really been eating very healthfully, maybe we're eating a lot of sugar or you had a lot of digestive issues or you have a ton of inflammation in your body, it may take a little bit. Um, you might notice a difference really fast or you may take a little bit to get there. I've had people that had a lot of inflammation in their body and they've they noticed a difference right away that they started like, you know, just decreasing that inflammation. Some swelling went away. They lost some weight. They were able to just, um, you know, just release a lot of that inflammation right away. But I think the biggest thing is the digestive health. You'll probably notice that within a very short period of time, as well as your energy levels. Um, your energy levels increasing will be like very, very, fast you'll so you'll probably notice that within a couple days but um you might also feel fuller longer which i think is awesome and and you also just probably notice some big changes in the future like when you start to work out you'll say oh wow i used to have to take two days now i can work out like two three days in a row instead of your rest days being you know two or three days a week i usually take a rest day in the middle of the week like wednesday so um and then another one in the weekend so that's what's nice and before i could never do that i'd always work out then i'd be so sore the next day um 
So those are some of the really big things that you'll notice right away. But, you know, consuming it consistently for four to six months is when you'll really start to notice because then it will start to be incorporated into your joints really well by then. So that um, that's what you really want to expect. You know, it's it's not a short term product for sure. It's going to be something that you'll be using as a nutritional supplement into your your body. So um, just think of it more of an as a nutritional supplement, not a protein powder. Now for the very most important thing you must be consistent if you are not consistent with taking it you will not notice a difference okay so you must 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 be consistent in consuming your collagen and bone broth daily and then you will start to notice a lot of things those things that i just mentioned all those benefits just like anything if you're not consistent you will not you will not get the optimal benefits that you are shooting for if you take it once a week. And that's the people that have had trouble are the ones that forget to take it. So I would put it near your coffee pot, near your smoothie area, wherever you're going to put it in, um, you know, maybe even throw it in some yogurt, whatever, but make it visible to you. So you remember to take it. You can, um, you can even double up on it a little bit at the beginning. I know a lot of people that have a lot of inflammation or they have injuries or they've just had a surgery. You can do some double upping, um, which means basically it's called collagen loading. Um, if you wish, especially, especially if you have an injury right now, you can just take a little extra collagen at the beginning um, and it will help you to kind of get it into your system a little bit quicker. Um, Collagen loading, I would suggest that you'd probably want to take about two to three servings a day for 30 days. And um, then after the 30 days, you can go back to, you know, just your normal one to two servings a day. And like I said, I usually take like one to two servings a day um, of, I take one of each of these for sure. And then I take maybe another scoop. So that's, that's the part that, you know, everybody's different. It just depends on you. And um, sometimes I even take one at night, you know, later in the day, if I'm feeling a little maybe low in energy or just if I've been eating bad or something like that, and I just really want to get that detoxification effect, um, I'll do that. But most of the time I just take one to two scoops a day of um, both of the products. So I take one scoop of the multi-collagen in my coffee, and then I take one scoop of the collagen peptides and bone broth in my uh, smoothie. And if I make it for my husband too, then I usually, you know, put two scoops in. So we both get some. And so, um, yeah, so that's basically a lot of the questions that I've been getting. And I just kind of wanted to uh, just do a live video and share with you guys some of my insight on all every, and everything. And hopefully you learned a little bit about collagen and um, bone broth and our different products and what hydrolyzed collagen is. I hope that this summarizes a lot of those questions for you guys. Um, and um, hopefully, you, you know, you learned a little something today. I hope this video was of some value to you. And if it was, please, you know, do me a favor and share with your friends. Um, we'll be doing more of these. Most of the time, they'll be about wellness wisdom. Uh, sometimes there'll be some mind mindset empowerment stuff. So I hope that you'll join us more often for these wonderful videos that we're going to be doing. And I'm going to hope, um, hopefully also have some interviews with some people, different, maybe some clients, different different people. So just hopefully every Monday we'll be able to do them as long as like the lives working and everything, but we'll, uh, we'll be doing those most, most Mondays, most Mondays. So, um, if this video was some value to you, I would really appreciate if you could share it with your friends. Um, and you know, just hopefully you, you understand a lot more now about collagen and bone broth and it's many, many life changing benefits. And if you have any questions, please just comment below, even if you're watching this during the replay and I'll be getting back to those questions later today. Um, thank you so much just for joining me here um, on this live or on the replay. And it is my heart and passion just to help you, just help you to live your very best warrior strong life every day. It is so important to me to have my friends and family and you are my friends and family and i just really appreciate that i have you to be your very best I, I appreciate you sharing this with your friends and family because if you do then they're going to start to be able to help themselves to be living their very best life 
And, um, you know, I'll see you again next Monday for another motivational video. And we'll be doing these again every Monday, different times. So just be sure to subscribe so that you get notified when we go live. Um, sometimes they'll be scheduled. Sometimes they'll just be um, sometime on Monday. So I really, really look forward to doing these and um, getting to get to know my community a little bit more and help you guys just to live your very, very best warrior strong life so have a wonderful monday and a wonderful week and we'll see you next monday bye bye